There's a bill making its way through the Florida legislature that would ban local breed restrictions for dogs, breeds like pit bulls, which are banned in Miami-Dade County. Animal advocates and pit bull lovers are in support of the bill like this one, but some others, well, not so much. CBS News Miami, Gabriel Arzola reports. Pit bulls have not been welcome in Miami-Dade County for more than 30 years, but now that may be coming to an end. This breed has been synonymous with deadly attacks in South Florida. And then when the first kid gets attacked, where's the accountability there? Melissa Moreira was nearly killed by one as a child in 1989. While standing outside, a neighbor's dog bit off most of her face, and it also attacked her mother and grandma. If you could see all this white bone, you could see my lip hanging off. I was like in the police car, seven year old trying to like even pull on my own lip because I didn't know what was going on. Her story is what pushed lawmakers to create a pit bull ban in Miami-Dade County. But new legislation is making its way through Tallahassee. Senate Bill 942 and House Bill 941 is working to remove the three decade breed ban. And hopefully it will give a lot more of these shelter dogs a home so they're not sitting in the shelter for months and months. Roni Tenenbaum from Helping Paws 2-2 Rescue says since the ban, thousands of pit bulls have been surrendered. And because they can't be sold in Dade County, she says they're either euthanized or sent to rescues like hers. She says it's the owner's negligence that makes a dog aggressive. I don't believe at all that these dogs are, are bad dogs. You know, I think it, it a lot of that falls on the owner. And the American Veterinary Medical Association says a dog's aggression does not come from their specific breed. And it would completely change the way I interact outside of my safe home, uh, knowing that anyone uh, at this point could have a pit bull next door to me. Accidents can happen really with, with any breed. In Doral, I'm Gabrielle Orzola, CBS News, Miami.